What is the best way to lower inflammation? I bet the first thought that came to your mind was not cardio, but the truth is cardiovascular activity is one of the strongest tools at your disposal to fight autoimmune symptoms. A new study just came out and it shows us how only six to eight weeks of cardio can lower inflammation long term. This isn't new information, exercise physiologists, we've always known this. You know, my PhD was in exercise physiology from the University of Miami, so I spend a lot of time um, looking into this kind of research. So we've known that cardio lowers inflammation in the body. It's just that we didn't quite know how. It was the mechanism that was missing. And now this study shows us one of the ways how cardio can lower your baseline level of inflammation or that chronic inflammation that most people are suffering from. So this study was done on mice. It found that moderate intensity aerobic exercise reprogrammed the metabolic activity of a specific type of white blood, white blood cell or a macrophage called a bone marrow derived macrophage. And uh, that white blood cell usually will trigger anti-inflammatory responses. And so because the inflammatory response is similar in rodents or mice and in all mammals, the researchers believe that cardio's ability to lower inflammation, this mechanism will also be the same in humans. As the authors explain, and I quote, our findings show that chronic moderate intensity training of mice leads to persistent metabolic rewiring and changes to chromatin. So it literally changes the DNA accessibility in bone marrow derived macrophages which in turn tempers their inflammatory responses so there you have it if you want to tackle autoimmune symptoms your best bet in addition to a carnivore diet is to add in intense cardio or as much as you can because I understand that if you're having rheumatoid arthritis symptoms you can't really go hard initially and this is where the carnivore diet is so helpful in removing the vast majority of the soreness and the pain so that you can implement a training program so I would also venture to say that the more your cardiovascular fitness improves the less autoimmune symptoms you have because in the study really they just used moderate intensity so what would happen if you reach a point where you can train really, really hard. One of my clients actually reversed her lupus symptoms. We're, we're testing negative now on all the tests with a combination of heavy, heavy training, both strength training and cardio plus a carnivore diet. So how exciting is that? All right. If you want more information like this, if you need support, if you're doing carnivore diet or maybe any other kind of diet, but you just need support in this area, whether it's for autoimmune or whether it's for sticking to your diet or for training, or if you have fears surrounding exercise and training, make sure you check out my group coaching. The details are going to be at the end of this video. And right now we're meeting twice a week, but you can choose to do just once a week or both of the sessions and it's on Sundays and Thursdays. Again, all the details are at the end, but you get a chance to ask me all your questions directly and I lead all of my meetings personally. So check that out. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.